Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna take you through four new products in the Cade Aquarium's lineup. All right, thank you for joining me in another episode of Parker's Reefs. And in this episode, I'm gonna interview Adam Dalton from Kate Aquariums, who has four brand new products to add to the Kate Aquarium lineup. And um, without giving any spoilers away, there's some products in here that people have been asking for for a couple of years, and some products there that people have not even been aware they needed until they see it. And I definitely fall into that second category. Again, I won't spoil it. You'll have to let Adam talk to you about these products himself. So um, maybe we jump straight into the footage now. Let's roll it. All right, guys, this is the video you've all been asking for. I'm here with Adam from Paid Aquariums. He's got a bumper number of new releases of this show, Restock Sydney, Australia. Thought I'd mic the man himself up and uh, we'd go through some of these new products. So Adam, firstly, thank you for taking the time. And uh, secondly, thank you for bringing all these awesome tanks to our, uh, our homes. Can you tell us about some of the new products? Yeah, we really wanted to do something special this year at Reefstock. You know, um, we decided we will release four new products. They will all be available to the international market. Uh, for the first time ever, we'll be able to introduce to our international friends the Ultimate Series. In Australia, it's always been known as the big grand system, you know, extra tall, extra wide. It's extra and tall, hey. It is, it's, it's- Like it's, I'm six foot tall and it's it's at my eye line, like above my eye line, it's above my head, it's it's a beast. Yeah, we've made it, it it's 800 from there to there, but 750 from internal. 800 is about as high as you want to go yeah. to be able to reach in, and even that, it's quite difficult. I can imagine, yeah. yeah. it is. But so, it has a heck of a presence to it, oh, what a beautiful it's amazing, tank. It's amazing, absolutely yeah. amazing. And, you know, the, it's traditionally been more of a freshwater system. Sure. And people that had been trying to make it, uh, use it for salt water. Um, so what I really wanted to do with the S2 version of this was to take all the best features of the Ultimate and all the best features of the Reef S2 and combine them together in a bit of a Frankenstein awesome. to make a crossover system that you'd use as a Reef River. Hybrid stunner. A hybrid, exactly. So what did we do? We completely changed the sum. Right, right. So, the S1, the S1 system had uh, our pre-filter box, which is a, it has a drip tray here. Oh wow, all slides out, fancy. And a mechanical filter box. Um, media baskets all underneath. Yes. So you'd run all your biological under there, you're not really gonna be touching that so much. And then it would spill into a first chamber, which would, start to bring it into more of a reef system. Um, it'll actually come with media baskets in every chamber. Um, if you're running it as a salt water, you're not gonna want that. You're gonna want to have these open chambers for maybe an algae reactor or uh, a refugium or a skimmer. Uh, then it starts to go into the traditional style of the reef S2 where you have your media baskets running back to your return pump. Yes. And the S1 Ultimate never had an ATO reservoir, which is a it's a pretty big addition to add. So we've actually added that at the back. Right, yep. And obviously the next question people will be asking is, how do we refill it? It's yeah, all yeah. the way back there. Yeah, how, Adam, how do we refill it? How do we re refill it? <laughs> Side door access now. Yeah, this beautiful. This one never had that, so you'll be able to refill it from there. Super easy. Yeah. Um, Slimline weir, we've got two drains in there. So main drain, emergency drain. All of our systems now come with a check valve as well. Uh, I did see the check valve over here actually, it's, yeah. uh, so these are all built in. Yeah, they're all built in. Um, we hide them inside the weirs. So on this model, it's hidden inside the weir. Yes. It's nice and dark in there. So yeah, it's not going to get all gunked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah clever. Um, we do that also with the uh, S2P Peninsula series. We've got a couple of them in there. Yep. And on the, the Reef series, we just put them on the return pump in where the ATO reservoir is. Yeah. Nice, um, nice. Now we have a dry area as well. The power management's in there. Beautiful. So you've still got your, your power distribution units back yeah, there. Yeah, still plenty of access to put all your power bricks and things in there. Yeah, and of course, nice and safe away from water. Definitely. And access yeah. to mount all your controllers in there. You've got all the switches that you can label up. Super neat way of having all your gear, whether it be fresh water or salt water. Yeah. May as well present the equipment as nicely as the tank itself. Absolutely, absolutely. And these tanks, the the Ultimate Series, have this uh, this 
bracing, which is super neat. I don't know, I'll, I'll lift the camera up nice and nice so you can see it. That is an absolutely stunning brace on there. One piece, One nice piece, uh, soft finish on cut. it, so it's not gonna cut you. Yeah, um, water jet cut finish. Um, obviously when the tank is tall, we need to brace it. You know, we wanna do it as neat as possible. We glue that in the same way we would glue, glue the base panel in. Yeah. Um, drill out the hole so we can you know, conceal all the plumbing nice and neat. Beautiful. Comes across the top, drops in, feeds that water all the way back to the weir. Nice Sensational. Put that signature paid, high quality look. Beautiful. <laughs> 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 what else have you got, Adam? You've got some more new products. Take us through them. All right, let's talk about the Nano S2M. Desktop Nano, this is something I've been working on in the background for about six months. I've always wanted to design a Nano system that was just perfect. And I think the biggest issue with Nano systems has always been uh, ATO Reservoir. Sure. You know, there was never anywhere to put it. There was always a bucket on the side or in the back or underneath somewhere. You just know where to place them. So I wanted to design one with an ATO Reservoir in it. So the pedestal you see here is not just something for this tank to sit on. Right. The tank actually goes all the way to the bottom and it's got a 20 litre ATO reservoir underneath. Hidden down there. Hidden down there. Very clever. So um, people are gonna be asking, how do we refill it? Yeah. <laughs> Straight from here. So that, that channel there, there, that channel down there, there'll be a water, there's a water jet cut hole underneath there. Um, and what we've done also, obviously we're thinking about we're trying to think about reducing any chance of algae growing down there. Yep. So um, I've put a double laminated piece of glass as a base, white and black together, and now no light can get through it. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, That's a tidy looking little nano. Yeah, you know, give it a jump net, all the little features. It will have a cover across the front there to cover all that up. It was, sure. This is a prototype, so it wasn't ready in time. Um, we've got our own skimmer now, which yeah, is... Wow. Um, Rated for about 100 litres. This is a 61 litre tank. And um, yeah, the reservoir's uh, 20 litres. Yes. So, you know, one third of its capacity. Beautiful. Uh, media baskets out the back. Plenty of space there for your media. Heater can fit back there. And um, we're also giving you a return pump. It's DC controlled and the skimmer's DC controlled as well. So Amazing. It's dial. Yeah. And we may even include an optical sensing ATO top up. Brilliant, well. yeah, yeah. Now this yeah. is launching later this year, November? Yes. In November, yep. So See all the specs there, I'll be sure to get that on screen so you can uh, see all of the vitals, super cool. Now, I mean, you could be mistaken because this is a, uh, a desktop nano mini tank there, but it's not sitting on a desk right now. You've got another sneaky little product hidden down here. Can you tell us about this cabinet that the uh, tank is currently sitting on? We have uh, produced an accessories cabinet um, but with all the, the equipment these days, it's, you know, people are struggling to find places to put it. We do our best to create enough space in the system so that you can mount your controllers. And, but there's just so much equipment these days, it's virtually impossible to fit it all into one cabinet. So we decided to create this accessories cabinet, we call it the Cade Caddy. Um, and what that is, is basically an identical cabinet that will be able to be positioned either independently away from the tank with doors on three sides, nice little controller area door that opens up yeah, as well. Yeah, sensational. It's Look at that, some cable ducting down there. Yep. You've got access to all four sides if you need. You mount those controllers on there, put whatever you want in there and just keep it nice and tidy rather than being a little science experiment next to the tank. Exactly. If you want to if you want to place that right next to the, the, the existing cabinet, then you just remove these doors, yeah. place it right up against there, and it's just a nice seamless, seamless look, straight through. glass tops, you can do your water testing, or maybe Beautiful. you want to mount your iPod, your iPad on there with your, you know. Controllers. Your controllers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or you can just put your beer on there when you're enjoying the tank. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> no, that's really cool. That's a product that I think is gonna be an absolute hit with people out there, because I know I absolutely love the Cade cabinets with the aluminium and glass uh, fitment to them and being able to just continue that nice high quality finish with another piece of furniture that just allows you to put things like a big calcium reactor or something like that yeah. hidden away in there where it deadens the noise a bit, doesn't have uh, this weird looking equipment just hanging out next to your tank, just really finishes off that whole look. It's all about aesthetics, isn't it? Absolutely. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to manage an ecosystem and we've got a lot of equipment to do it and it's very hard to keep it neat. Speaking of aesthetics, 
I did notice something slightly different aesthetics wise in the arcade booth and when I pan just a little bit to the right here what, what color is this over here what's going on uh, it's white, finally. <laughs> it's white. <laughs> How many times have you been asked to have a white Cade tank in the last couple of years? Uh, a lot, a lot. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely a lot. And I mean, you know, people have always asked us why don't we do white? And the, the answer is because you can't anodize white. Yeah. And we, our process in the factory is to, to anodize, to impregnate the color within the aluminum. And um, if we're going to change that process to powder coating, we need to be able to do it properly. In, has to be uniform across the whole range. So we, we invested in that and now we can powder coated our, our white systems. Um, well, these are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, these are gonna fit into any modern style house and it's got that two pack high gloss white going on. If you've got that real nice crispy white kitchen, yeah. other entertainment, furniture, whatever it may be, cabinetry, this is gonna fit in seamlessly. We're in a fairly dimly lit uh, hall here, but I can tell you when you see these in person, um, you're gonna want a white cade, they're pretty stunning. And it's got a couple of extra tricks up its sleeve, being white, I believe, that um, you can then light up from the inside of the cabinet and you can sort of see through. No, what we're doing is this is a prototype and at this stage, on this one, we, what, this is another reason why we took a little bit of extra time to release them. We do want to prevent the light from shining out through the cabinet. And this one doesn't have, this has got six coats of paint on it. Right, right. The light still goes through it. Yes. On that other model over there, we've, um, we've added a, a, an acrylic panel in there and that's glued in and it completely, completely blocks the light. We're still not 100% sure which way we're going to go. We're definitely not going to leave it like that. We're going sure. to prevent light from coming through how we do it, and we've got to do it in an affordable way so we don't have to pass any of these expenses onto the customer. Definitely. Just got to find a nice, smart way to do that. Between you know, now and the next couple of weeks, that'll happen. We'll yep, probably yep. end up doing it that way over there with the yep. early panel. Um, that way, when your refugium light comes on at night, right. your white cabinet doesn't turn into a purple cabinet. Exactly. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. I have to say, looking at these, I mean, the cabinet on my own dream reef tank is white, and having that crisp white interior, it just, exudes cleanliness like if you're if you're a bit of a clean freak with your sump and equipment and you want to have that sump spotless you're going to want a white finish because it's just like the table the table plate that you would eat dinner off is so nice in there it is beautiful i mean i've i've, I've never really been a huge fan of white but every, a lot of people <laughs> are i love black yes but now seeing it in in person I'm converted. I now you're a believer. It. I'm a believer. Team White Cade. <laughs> Team White Cade. I'm a believer now. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. It and I mean, this is just a uh, shy little uh, S2 2100, I'm guessing, by the... Yeah, a little one. Just yeah. a little one. Yeah, it's just a, to make sure no one missed that you do White Cades now. You thought, we'll just bring a little one in to showcase it. Yeah, when people walk in the, in the show and just get hit with this thing. You know, it's, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's an imposing system. It's our, our biggest... Reef S2, the range, 650 high, in total 750 wide with 650 internal, you know, over a thousand litres. I don't know Heck what that is tank. in gallons, but you know. And I mean, this still follows the same Cade uh, ethos where the, the stand is pre-assembled, the sump's even in position. Yes. You literally have two boxes, open up one box, put the cabinet and sump where you want it, yep. open up the other box, get a few uh, strong friends, because these tanks are not going to be light, yeah, absolutely. sit that tank on top, screw in the pre-glued plumbing, mm. and you're ready to fill it with water. Yeah, it is, I don't think there'd be a system on the market that's any easier to assemble than ours, and we'll try and do that, and I guess that you know, we, could, we, could, we could flat pack them, and, could, and but fit more in the containers, you know, but we don't. We, we assemble them there, we make it easy for you guys. And it would be a difficult assemble, assembly job if you had to do it yourself. But we assemble it to make it easy for you guys. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I appreciate it because I know I've assembled more than my share of IKEA flat packs in my time, oh, and there's yeah. no way known I would ever trust my handyman skills to then put a tank on top of it. So mm. having something that weighs this much weight, have a cabinet that's pre assembled that you know is up to the task, you lift that tank up and go. Yeah. You literally can't unbox it and have it full of water in an hour or two. Like it's not a full week's project. Yeah, you, I saw your video on that and you yeah. put it together in- It in was like 20, 30 off. minutes. It was ridiculous. And I did it with just like me and my wife. Yeah. I didn't have a team of mates over to do it. It was so, so easy. Yeah, and that's what we've got to do. We've got to make it easy for everyone. You know? Absolutely. But um, yeah, we're really happy with it. I'm so excited. And uh, you know, I think uh, it's going to be a big hit considering at the show here, we've had such a massive response with this white cabinet. I, I knew it was going to be 
I knew it was going to be well received, but I honestly didn't think it was going to be this well received. Good stuff. Mm. All right, Adam, that's incredible. You've blown my socks off with not just one new release, but a number of them, and um, a number of really cool releases, I have to say. Like, the white cabinet's something everyone's been asking for. I don't think the caddy is something that that many people have been asking for. I don't think they, that people knew they needed it until they've seen it, and I think, um, <laughs> I, I know now, I think I need one. And then even the uh, Ultimate Ranger tank there, that height, I mean, you can see it, the height of it, the presence is just something else, so. I think you've really come out with some pretty cool stuff here and um, I think all of the Cade fans out there are going to be super, super happy and probably even convert a few more people over to the Cade uh, family. So uh, well done on a fantastic reef stock. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your time, Sam. Uh, and I love your work too, mate. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, bye. All right, guys, there you have it. Let me know what you thought of the four brand new products from Cade Aquariums. That uh, Series 2 Ultimate system with the extra height, the extra depth, and the ability to run it as a freshwater or a saltwater tank, I know is going to suit a lot of people out there, whether they're deciding whether they want to go freshwater or saltwater or have the ability to switch between the two, or they're just looking for a tank with a little bit of extra height and a little bit of extra presence. It definitely ticks both of those boxes. Moving on to the next release, which I guess is multiple releases because the uh, white cabinetry option is across the range in the uh, Cade system now, well it will be in the short term future. And I know thousands of people that have been asking for that as our decor and things start to move a little bit more to a white design nature, having a Cade aquarium that's got that matching white color there is just going to keep your house looking super modern and very, very crisp indeed, which is synonymous with the Cade brand. So I think it's a fantastic addition. The product that I absolutely think is going to be the absolute hit of the range though is actually that little caddy which lets you add on a matching cabinet to your already set up Cade aquarium because I know myself Itself. Things like calcium reactors and other bits and pieces that uh, eventually spill their way out of your cabinet can end up taking away from the look of that beautiful reef tank you have. So having a matching cabinet that can either sit right up next to your existing cabinet or maybe even just be island a little bit away from it is going to look absolutely superb. So um, personally, I think Adam has absolutely hit it out of the park. Oh, and of course, don't forget the Nano, one of the huge <laughs> hits of the event. That desktop mini, I almost forgot completely about, but what an awesome little setup there with some super, super uh, clever initiatives in it, including that uh, ATO reservoir under the display. What a clever little idea. And of course, don't forget it's got a DC powered return pump and a DC powered skimmer built into the system, which is um, unheard of. So uh, well done, Adam, on a fantastic Reef Stock Australia. Of course, if anyone out there is interested in more information, be sure to jump on the Cade Aquarium's website. I'll put the links down below so you can check them out there and uh, find all the specs to make sure that these new products are going to fit into the space you have for your aquarium in your home. If you have any questions, comments, feedback for either myself or Adam, pop it down in the comment section below because I do personally reply to each and every comment there, so it is the best way to get hold of me. Other than that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're yet to, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to 25,000 subscribers and it'd be super awesome to have you part of the family. Other than that, guys, till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.